everyone this is Amy thanks so much for stopping by my channel today I'm going to show you how I paint a, another design using my fan brushes and and I, I just I think they're so much fun to use I really have not used them too much in the past but but you know hey I'm gonna do one more video on those and I will be using once again my plaid one stroke brush it's a fan brush 1196 another plaid brush I do believe this is a number one and then I have a uh, Dewberry Ultra Pro this is for fingernails and this is a number two fan brush I will also be using in this design a number 10 flat brush also a plaid one stroke brush and then a couple of my favorite glass art brushes this is a 10 slash zero and then another glass art by Dynasty, a number one. Paints I'm using tonight are Thicket, Happy Green, Moon Yellow, and Dove Gray. Love this color. Wicker White, and then Aqua. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you're new to glass painting, the main thing is to make sure that you clean your glassware prior to painting on it. Soap and water, wipe it off with rubbing alcohol just to make sure you get all the grime, oils, and such from your fingers, you know, whatever, that you get that removed before you start painting on it. This piece, as I've mentioned in prior videos, I reuse my glass pieces so that I'm not piling up a bunch of glassware that I am not actually selling at this point. So I am cleaning them off and reusing them. So if you ever wonder why you might see some leftover paint, I do try to clean it off the best I can. Sometimes there is a little bit leftover because it's not really an easy feat, you know, getting this off always. All right, so when I'm loading my fan brush, I am just dipping it in, pushing it down, and just getting it really full. I'm going to start off by doing my little design, just kind of placing my brush and then pulling it up. If you feel like the brush or the, the painting that you're doing is not giving you good enough coverage, then feel free to go over it. I mean that's definitely fine and I am working in fives so and somehow or another I just dip that into white it's fine let me get this one just a tad bit better and again I'm just lightly pushing these down I'm not doing any fanning out like I did in the the previous video I'm just doing it like that just touching and pulling it up next brush I'm going to use is the number one and I'm going to dip that into the the dove gray and again I'm just one color loading so on this I'm just going to lightly press down and then come over here lightly press down if it pulls up some of the color underneath that's fine I can come back over here matter of fact I kind of like some of the color to come up from underneath and my samples it, it did more more so than what I'm finding it's doing now on on this you just kind of play with it till you get it to look the way you want like I said I'm I'm happy when it has some of the other paint showing through that's exactly what I'm looking for now in this last one I'm going to come in load this brush really well with the white and then I'm just going to tap it tap it just to get my bottom part in here now this again is just more of an abstract kind of piece it's not meant to be any specific flower it truly really isn't it's just meant to be something fun to paint with a flat brush so if you're looking into it too deeply Please don't because it's not it's not meant to be that way. It's just meant to be, like I said, just something fun. 
and I'm just going over it again just to give me just a little bit more character here. All right, next thing I'm going to do is take my little brush like this one here and I'm going to dip it into my greens and that is the happy green and the thicket and start I'm just going to do this as one branch just pretty thin thin little branches and hook the flowers to the actual branch, not doing separate branches for each flower like I typically do. Just a real easy little little design. And I like to go over it and add some more color to it. It's going to have some yellow in it as well. I really do like adding yellow to my greens. I just discovered this. Not that I never put yellow with the greens, but I mean as far as just even giving it more um, ump, more accent, I really like it. Alright, so with this little brush, I'm going to attach these flowers to the little branches or little stems, whatever you want to call them. And just come up here and do the same with this one. All of them actually. These brushes are just awesome to work with. Such good coverage. It's like when you paint a lot, you kind of start figuring out what brushes are great for certain things because you might want to maybe switch brushes out depending on what type of painting you're doing. You may not use all the same brand for everything you're painting on. I mean and if you do that's there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying that once you get more experience if you're new to this you might find other products that you like better than what I'm showing you even. You know, if you have favorite items that you like to use with glass painting, by all means share. Share, share, share. I'm always happy, happy, happy to learn something new. Pretty much. I mean, I think it's just so much fun. They'll say, how many of you that are viewing are actually new to glass painting? If you are, just give me a heck yes at the bottom. It'd be nice to hear from you. And again, if you have any tips, tricks to share, favorite, favorite uh, brushes, favorite paints for glass, I know, you know, there's always something new. And I, that's one reason I like to watch some of the videos, is for that mere fact. Alright, I think I'm pretty close to having my, my little stems, branches, connections, and whatnot to my satisfaction. Then I'm going to go over here to my flat brush and start putting in the rest of the greenery. And the one thing kind of neat with this project is that I don't have to I was gonna say um, do any kind of center work. Okay, just so that you can see, hopefully here, my item's kind of big. I'm just tapping into the paint and doing some blending strokes. If I want to add some yellow to it, I just tip it in. I can do a blending stroke with it, or I can just go paint directly on the glass. It's really up to me how I want to do it. Alright, so 
I'm going to go over here. Keep in mind, too, that I am a lefty. If I start one direction and you're right-handed, you might need to start the opposite direction from me. On this project, I am going to be, it's basically all the same leaf design, but I'm going to be switching my colors so that I have, like on this one, I have dark green on one side and light green on the other, if you notice that. Alright, see how it's darker and then the light. And I am going to do the ruffle. I'm going to do a different style of uh, of leaf, but I decided to do this style because I feel like I do what I was going to do originally. I do a lot. Okay, so on this, I'm pulling in the center. Now you can come through and do that with a different brush after you're finished. If you're doing it in a mannerism that it gives you the look of a line, then just leave it. Don't worry about coming back and doing it. Actually, I'm going to go this direction with it. And this is what I'm saying. I'm going to vary from one leaf to the next. I'm not doing them all the same. Eventually, I want to get into doing some different colors of green while I'm painting leaves instead of sticking with the same colors of green while I'm painting. There's a lot of interesting things you can do with that. Alright, so then I'm going to come over here and I don't have to stick with the same color or the same, you know, green on, dark green on one side and or light green on both sides. I can just add in here like that. Again, it's still the same leaf, but it's just a variation of it. And then I'm going to do the same over here. I'm going to do this. The one thing neat about when you're working on an item that you can actually turn as you're working on it makes it so much easier. On this one, I'm going to have the light on this side. So see, like when you do this kind, you actually kind of already have a natural center there. If you don't want to do a line down it, then don't. Because it's pretty, honestly, just, just that way. If you want to just leave it alone. Leave it alone. And then I think I'm going to have one just kind of coming up here. And on this it's going to be dark on both sides. I'm just doing light wiggles. Very light wiggles. And go in there like that. Again, this flower design is meant to be very simple. Really, all of them are meant to be so simple just for the mere fact I want you to paint. I don't want you to be afraid of painting. I want you to get out there, get some brushes, get some paint, and do it. And I say this all the time. It's so relaxing if you're uptight I mean, even if you're not uptight, this is such a fun thing to do, an affordable way to decorate your home, affordable way to make gifts. It's just, it is, it just really is an awesome way to be creative. And very affordable too. You know, I know a lot of people want to do things, but if it's too expensive, or you had to buy an expensive piece of equipment or something to that sort, then it's it's not it's not something everybody can do. But if it's something like this where, hey, you can go to the dollar store, buy some glassware to paint on. And actually any of the designs I'm showing you don't have to be painted on glass, you know. 
You can paint them on any any surface that you want. This is just what I choose to do because it's easy to reuse. And I'm just going to come through here and put that on there. I'm going to keep in mind though, the thicker you put something on paint wise, the more durable it's going to be. If you don't put it on uh, with a nice coverage, then you're at risk of it coming off or scratching easily. You know, you can put protective, you know, some coatings on, like the Mod Podge for glass or something to that sort to help, and that's fine. But just so you're aware, the thicker your paint is on your item, the more durable it will be. Now, I don't want you to put your paint on too thick, because if you're going to bake it, then it's going to bubble. And you're going to put all this hard work in, and it's going to be ruined. So I don't want that either. Alright, so... And I do apologize for my background noise. My furnace is running. Yes, it's very cold here today. I think our high was like 27. Most of the day it was under 20. And do I like that kind of weather? Absolutely not. But it's better than it's snowing because I don't like that at all. Lived here all my life, but the older I get, the more I can see why people become snowbirds, as they call it. Okay, so on here, with my little little stems or vines that I painted, I'm going just to do some easy, I don't really want them matched up per se, like right next to each other, but I'm going to paint these just kind of like filler flowers, fi they're not flowers, filler leaves, you get the gist though. I mean, it just kind of um, yeah, adds some prettiness to it. As you can see. Now on these, you know, my brush keeps getting so full of paint. You can just go through and put little stems in them. Little stems. I don't want to do them um, too too much. I mean, they can even be lighter than this. And I'm going to come over here and do this one. And I can try, you know, I can have it overlapping the flowers a little bit. But there is a lot of wet paint here still. So I'm trying to really not mess with that too much because it will have a lot of that color pulled out. And I hope you like this. We're almost finished. Especially since I don't have to do any center work. Makes it easy. And just need to finish this one up. It's just nice to have have something to fill, fill in some space. Now, if you're new to my channel, you probably don't realize this, but I love to paint leaves. So, if you're not much of a leaf person or you think it's too much, hey, I don't have any problem with that. Make your design fit you. You know, I'm giving you you know, some information and showing you how to do this, but you don't have to do it exactly like mine. Put your own twist into it. Now, one last thing before we go. I know on my other thing I did this. I'm not sure how, how well it's going to show up, but I just want to do like the semblance of just like some little flowers going up this and again, these are very abstract. I'm just touching the paint on. A little dab of dew here, here and there. And it is going to have some of that aqua in it. So I know my brush 
put some aqua in there already. I'm just kind of dabbing that in. Like I'm talking about the front stones right now. But anyhow, just kind of putting these in. Just touching with the other brush. I think this is the number one Dynasty brush. It is a specific specific glass painting brush. I'm not going to clean the brush. I'm just going to go back over it and then dab in some just some of the aqua. You could make this a different color if you wanted it to stand out more. Again, I am just doing this just to fill it in a little bit. You can even paint stems to it if you want, you know, with the greenery. I'm just going to, I'm not even going to mess with that. I'm just kind of dabbing something very simple, little flowers. And that's what I'm saying. You could actually, whoops, take this brush now that I've got all kinds of paint all over it. give you advice and then I drop everything and touch everything but you could do like little just little stems if you wanted to and the maybe a darker the darker color just kind of look like they're coming just very lightly especially when it's not not something you're going to be drinking from the reason I say that is you want to make sure that they're more opaque, thicker lines than what I'm doing right here. If you're going to be, it's a product that's going to be handled a lot like glassware, drinking glasses. But I just want to make it look like I've got some stems coming to it. Just real easy. And light. Not have to be anything real detailed. That's not. Alright, so there you have it. Cute little flowers. Again, they're just made up flowers. They're not something that's, you know, this is a petunia or whatnot. It's not. It's a fan brush flower. Alright, well, there it is. This is a glass jar container painted. Just the front side, if I were to do this for myself or for a gift or to sell, I would paint my design all the way around it. And I'm just doing the front for the purpose of the video because I don't want the video to be too long. Alright, I hope you like this. I think it's pretty. Just something unique. Again, that's what it's meant to be. If you like this design, this video, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, Please make sure that you do uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I paint something new. And then the very end of the video you will see underneath the video a button that will allow you to share. Please make sure you hit that as well and share this on your social network with all your family and friends. I would certainly appreciate it. Once again. Thanks so much for stopping by and viewing this video, and until the next time, you have a good one.